Hello, my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with PNG Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of custom propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we're going to be showing you the DeWalt. Uh, this is the DXGN 14,000 lot. Uh, this has the Honda GX uh, 630 engine in it. Uh, we're going to show you the propane steps on it and then we'll show you the natural gas steps on it. We'll get started on that. Okay, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove our air cleaner cover here. Just pull up your two clips on that, set that to the side. You got a wing nut on top here to remove your air cleaner. And we'll go ahead and pull that off. And then you have two bolts on the back side of this. Okay, they're 10 millimeter. And then you have two front ones on here. Um, we'll go ahead and show you how to remove them. All right, now I tried to give you a little better close up, but what we're gonna do is remove the two back bolts here and the two front bolts holding the bottom of the air cleaner down. Again, I apologize if my hands get in the way, but kind of a tight fit here with the gas tank being up top. So we'll go ahead and remove the back one. Okay, careful you don't drop nothing down in there. And we'll get this one off here. This will give us access to be able to put our adapter on there to be able to run our alternative fuel. And it's actually a really simple setup. And this is this is this is a very nice engine, and it's a good generator too. So, um, and probably one of the easiest installations I've did in a while. I've seen them run across a couple of tough ones, but. Uh, Every now and then when you run across one, it's a little easier, especially being a bigger engine. All we're going to do is pull this up, set this down to the side. We'll show you the next procedure. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and install the adapter. Now, position the fitting up on this just to give you a little bit of clearance on here, on this side here. And then we'll, uh, that way, when you put your air cleaner back on, and get that set that hose will come through so you got room because the air cleaner is going to set up a little higher like this now so we'll go ahead and show you that procedure there on that step okay now we got our adapter all set we got our hose clamp on here um now what i normally do is i'll take the air cleaner the bottom of the air cleaner feed my bolts through the back side just kind of makes it a little bit easier to start it just kind of rotate it up Make sure you got your gasket on there. Okay, now you're not gonna see every step I'm doing here, but I'm just getting the bolts prepared to go back. Now on some of these, you can see this tube here. Some of them are connected to other engines. I don't understand why this one is not. Normally this goes to the valve cover. Um, on this one, they have it open. So we'll go ahead and just get this up here, line it up to our bolt holes. Get that one started, and again, do the same thing over here. Get it lined up. And we're not gonna tighten these all the way because we gotta get our spacers in here and stuff, but let's just get these bolts started to make it easier for us. There we go. Now we'll go ahead and show you the next procedure on it before we tighten that down. Okay, now we'll supply you two nylon spacers. Um, these are going to take up the room that we've lifted this up on. So just go ahead and get that set up underneath. Run it back through your air cleaner. We'll supply you all this hardware. Um, that way you ain't hunting around for anything and get her set up and get that on this side. That ran through. And all right got that started we'll go ahead and tighten all these down now um, we can tighten this down again like i was telling you on that breather some of them have them some of them don't you know if worse comes to worse it's just a half inch hose um, to make up that difference let's go ahead and i'm not going to tighten fully until i get everything set you know, again, you want to make sure your hose is on the adapter, your clamp's on, because obviously you can't get in there to get any of that afterwards. So you want to make sure you get that step. All right. Get 
this is known. Again, I apologize if my hand's in the way, but there's just the four bolt, and I'm just putting the uh, bottom air cleaner assembly back on. And I can just about snug them now. I just like kind of like to go back and forth instead of just doing them all at one time. All right. One more little snug here. All right. I mean, that's pretty much as simple as what we did there. It's not much to it. Get your air cleaner assembly back on there. Get your wing nut back on the top. Tighten that down. Get your cover back on. And we're ready to mount the regulator. That step is as simple as that. We'll show you the next procedures. Okay, now what we're gonna do is go ahead and get our regulator assembly mounted. Now, I this was the best choice here that I looked around. I didn't want to come down here. You've got your exhaust back over on this side coming out. You know, you got your tire in your way down here, so chose to come up here. Now you're basically just going to come off the frame to give you enough clearance on this back side. You're going to drill through this top portion bar here. And what we'll do is we're going to come off about two inches. We'll just make a mark there. And then what we're going to do, because we're obviously mounted between these two centers to centers, all right, and that size there is going to be five. five and three quarter okay so we'll come over from our mark five and three quarter make us another mark over here and I'm just going in the center of this it's all I'm doing just double check that five and three quarter right there and then I'll just get me a punch if you don't have a punch just watch it doesn't wobble too much on you let's make you a little mark there make you a mark over here just double check again that you're at that five and three quarter. Okay, good to go. We'll go ahead and show you the next procedure. Okay, now that we've got our marks here, we'll go ahead and I drill these out uh, five sixteenths. This is real thin here, so just it don't take much. Okay, now we'll go ahead and mount the regulator. We got our holes drilled out. We'll supply you all the hardware to get on this. Let's go ahead and get that lined up. And get your flat washer on back here. We'll give you all that hardware, the lock washers and nuts and stuff. And let's get that. One more here nice that this is a bigger unit you got a little bit more room to work with things um, again this is a, I'm very impressed with this unit this is a very nice unit here for sure all right let's go ahead and tighten those down all right we'll go ahead and get our hose coming off from our adapter it's pretty much as easy as that right there, what you just seen. I mean, I didn't take long at all to do. I kind of just keep my holes back a little bit here. Just kind of pull it away a little bit. Turns it towards the machine a little bit more. Go ahead and lock that down. And uh, our next steps basically will be to uh, get this baby started up. And we'll show you the next procedures. Okay, now we've got our uh, propane connection to our tank. Now we're just testing this on a 20 pounder. Um, I recommend something larger than this if you're going to run this type of generator off it. Um, a larger tank is a lot better for the volume of it. Um, if you run this and it's under a full load, it'll start icing up once you get down to about half full. But Now we'll go ahead and get this set up on this and uh, we'll turn it on 
get our propane on. Now this is your power elbow. This is your load adjustment, okay? Um, and as lean out as rich. Now we'll set this as close as possible that we can get. Um, everything is different. It depends on the hours you got on the machine, but you'll be able to adjust that. So let's go ahead, make sure your gasoline is off, okay? Um, that's your uh, gasoline cockpit on there. Um, you don't need choke with this. Let's go ahead and hit the button on the back, make sure all our stuff's on. We'll shut the propane off on it. Now that started real good for me. Uh, most of the time you're going to get a little hesitant. But again, we try to set these. That way you don't have to go through all of it back and forth. Um, again, it could matter on the different hours and stuff like that. But uh, now if you want to run natural gas of this, which a lot of people do the natural gas, just remove your hose, obviously go into your tank, your bushing. You'll run your natural gas directly right to the ball belt here. Make sure you have six ounces of pressure of natural gas. That's what this uh, regulator requires. If it's a smaller pressure, uh, they do make a four ounce regulator and we can set that up for you. But that's the steps on that. We'll show you the next procedures. Okay, that concludes uh, the video, the step-by-step -step instructions, the assembly of everything we did on this DeWalt. Again, this is the uh, DXGN14000. This is powered by the Honda GX630 engine. Again, like I said, I was very impressed with this generator. Um, everything worked out real well on it. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing this kit from us, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we can be reached at 734-992-2648. Again, thank you very much for watching this. I hope this helps out. Thank you and have a wonderful day.